Sajod Sanuli arrived in Australia on a temporary working visa. Like many migrants, he was taken advantage of by multiple employers and claims he was underpaid by about $20,000. You have no English, you have no rights, and you pretty much have no other choice. Sajod was paid cash in hand, so he felt he couldn't report being underpaid. It would be threatened if you tell the government, if you report, you are the person who's going to be in trouble. It will affect your visa, it will affect your profile in this country. New data suggests one in six migrants is paid below the national minimum wage. One in three workers is born overseas with about 8% on temporary visas. And migrants are 40% more likely to be underpaid than long-term Australian residents. Migrants are more vulnerable to exploitation because they've often been here for less time. Many don't have such strong English skills, but their visa conditions also reduce their bargaining power vis-a-vis -vis employers. Migrants are also more likely to work in industries where underpayments higher, like agriculture and hospitality. Grattan's Brendan Coates is calling for an overhaul of visa rules and tougher laws. We need to reform those visa rules that make temporary visa holders more vulnerable to exploitation. Second, we need to better enforce our workplace and migration laws to stamp out underpayment by bad faith employers. And we need to make it easier for migrants and Australian workers alike to get their back pay to seek repayment through the courts. Lawyer Josh Strutt gets referrals on a weekly basis of migrants who are being exploited. He says they're scared to report dodgy employers because they fear it will risk their pathway to permanent residency. People need to have the freedom to speak out without fear of adverse consequences to their visa. And in line with that, there needs to be a whole raft of protections then implemented through the migration system to ensure that people's visas are certain, safe, and that they don't jeopardise their future in Australia. And when migrants don't get paid properly, that affects all workers. If migrants are being underpaid wages, other workers aren't able to um, demand higher wages or to bargain for higher wages, so their wages will be lower than they might otherwise have been. The federal government is expected to soon announce reforms to tackle migrant worker exploitation. The immigration minister says the measures will help vulnerable migrants speak up by protecting them if they're exploited. Sajod would have benefited from better protections. I would personally be in a greater place and gain greater work opportunity and knowledge if there was only simply someone who would tell us how to do things. He's pleased changes are on the way that will give all workers equal opportunities.